I, I probably shouldn't start. Okay. So we've got some very unintelligent individuals up in this location. So here's a video of Glenn Greenwald. Now, I don't know why Glenn Greenwald continues to be like doing this like bizarre thing where he's just getting more and more strange, like more and more bizarre. And it's like, what? You know, <laughs> like, so Glenn Greenwald, a couple months ago, I started noticing this trend where he started going on. He ba okay, so what happened was he wanted to publish a story on the laptop from hell. You know, Hunter Biden's laptop at his, uh, like, as the, the, the journalistic outlet that he co-founded, The Intercept. And his editor was like, ah, I mean, you know, your story is a little bit long and it kind of says the same thing over and over again. Can we have a few touch-ups? And he's like, no! My free speech is under attack! You want to re limit the redundancies in my story? I'm being censored! <laughs> I'm being censored! So... He cried censorship when someone wanted to remove his redundant kind of, you know, verbiage in his story. And then he published the garbage story on his Substack, which was very, you know, not that great. And then I noticed immediately afterward, he did this like victory lap. Like he did like a, like a tour around media, including going on Joe Rogan's show, right? And he went on Joe Rogan's show to talk about how trans kids are not that great and how they're stealing and ruining the lives of real women and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, I've got friends who are trans and and, and they're and, and they're saying that they don't like their kids and, and I and, and uh, I'm Clay Greenwald, look at me. Right? And then recently I covered these he did uploaded a forty minute manifesto about attacking trans people, bisexual people, says that there's no true bisexual. Unless you're split right 50-50, you're not a true bisexual. You're just a straight person pretending to be bisexual or you're a gay person pretending to be bisexual. There's no middle ground. You can't actually just, you know, be bisexual. It's just impossible. And so then yesterday or the day before, I don't know when he did this. It might have been the day before. It might have been yesterday. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's there's the date up there. It's March 1st, apparently. But either way, so this guy goes on another podcast, Right? And he talks about how Tucker Carlson and Steve Bannon are socialists. Let's watch. And I, you know, would describe a lot of people on the right as being socialists. I would consider Steve Bannon to be a socialist. I would consider the, the 2016 iteration of Donald Trump, the candidate, to be a socialist based on what he was saying. I consider Tucker Carlson to be a socialist. You know, now if you have... Uh, Governor Look Cuomo. at this guy. This guy is just like absorbing that information. Like this guy's moving around a bit. Their webcam's a little shitty. You can barely tell what's going on. But this guy is like, what? Am I getting a golden ticket here? Or Tucker Carlson to be a socialist. You know, now if you have uh, Governor Cuomo who wants to give, you know, tens of millions of dollars to Amazon to bring an office to New York, you have AOC, an actual self-identified socialist, standing up and saying, this is outrageous. And then you have Tucker Carlson going on his Fox News program and saying, I agree with her completely because I think people are realizing that neoliberalism doesn't work. And I think the real right left uh, difference to the extent that those terms even have any currency or coherence, mm -hmm. I think you see in France too, like Marine Le Pen, you know, the fascist far right candidate, when she ran both times, she ran to the left of Macron for sure, but even the French socialists in terms of wanting to give workers better benefits and better pensions. So I think- So, okay. Now, this is the dumb bullshit where people don't know, but the Nazis were socialists. What? Okay, so yes, right? If you want to redistribute all the resources of your government. Now, of course, the Nazis coined the term privatization. One of the like first things that they did when they became uh, powerful in government was sell off a lot of the things in their uh, government's control to private corporations. But whatever, the Nazis are socialists, so let's, let's run with it, okay? So if it's socialist to give health care to your citizens, okay, if that's what you define socialism as, right, is it not, is there not a difference between, I don't know, let's say killing everyone of a specific race and then once you've killed them all or deported them all, then giving the resources to only the white people in your country, right? If socialism is defined as using the government to do anything, then sure, I guess Marine Le Pen is a socialist. I guess Adolf Hitler is a motherfucking socialist. Donald Trump's a socialist, I guess, 
right? Doing corporate tax cuts, giving all the government's money to rich people. That's socialism, I guess. Selling off government um, uh, resources to rich people and private corporations. It's socialism because the government did something, right? What? So again, if your whole policy is we're going to get rid of all the immigrants from our country and we're going to kill all the people we don't like in our country and then we'll have a lot more money for the real white people. That's not going to the left of someone. <laughs> That's called trying to appeal to the inner racism of the dumb fucks that are in your voting base. Right, if you, like, that's the whole thing with the immigration. People think, the immigrants stole my job. The immigrants stole the job. Oh my god firing Americans. Right, no, that's to get them to hate the immigrants. And then once you get rid of the immigrants, sure, maybe their lives will improve slightly because they'll have more of the distribution of tax money, right? But, here's an idea. You can just do that without getting rid of specific populations. You don't have to get rid of the non-white people. You don't have to get rid of the undocumented aliens. You can just do those same policies and have more people pay into the pool, right? It's not socialism when the government does stuff. But Glenn dipshit fucking shit for brains, motherfucking green ass dumb fuck walled doesn't know the difference. Socialism is when the government does something. So I think the vision is, you know, you have this kind of right wing populism, which really is socialism that says we should close our borders. That's not, not socialism. Unconstrained immigration. And then. I wish this clip were a little longer, but that's not socialism. Again, it's not populism either. If people, if you convince people to hate immigrants, then you've convinced them to be racist. OK, and guess what? When you get rid of the immigrants, it's easier. When you get rid of all the non-white people, when you get rid of the trans people or the, the gay people, it's easier to enact an agenda that is racist because you have less diversity in the voting coalition, right? That's the whole idea here, is they're trying to get rid of the people that don't vote for them. It's not socialism to deport people that don't vote for you. Is it socialism when Richard Nixon uh, started the drug war to, quote, lock up the blacks and the hippies? Was that socialism? No, it's not socialism. Well, we put them into, into you know, publicly owned prisons and then later sold them to private companies. But we put them in, publicly pri in public prisons and then made them did labor for the government. It's socialism, right? What? Now, Glenn Greenwald, I know he knows what socialism means. There's no way he thinks that this is the definition of socialism. What he's doing is appealing to and building a right-wing uh, base of viewership, right? Anyone who's left of Hillary Clinton has canceled this dumb fuck by now, right? Again, going on Joe Rogan's show to shit talk trans people, going on Ben Shapiro's show to shit talk trans people, crying about all this dumb bullshit, talking about how bi people are fake and don't exist, talking about how trans people are killing lesbians or something, right? And now calling Steve Bannon and Donald Trump socialists. What? What? Tucker Carlson's a socialist? He knows what he's doing, and what he's doing is lying for money? That's what he's doing. He's an unprincipled hack garbage can man, and the sooner you realize that, the sooner we can have a legit conversation about real things that matter. Like the fucking stream, folks.